Hey, welcome back to Rad BMX Builds. I'm Sean and on this episode, we have a 60th anniversary Skyway build. Very limited bike, 300 made, only 150 in the US, 150 went out to the rest of the world, and I got one of them. This is gonna be a very special build, and yes, I'm doing it different than everyone else. Every bike I've seen off of this platform right here have looked almost exactly the same. So I decided to be similar, but not the same. You're gonna enjoy this build, so let's look at the parts and see what we're about to get into. Okay, you can see that I got number 236 out of 300. This literally was a bike sold by Planet BMX, and the guy did not end up taking delivery of it. It was a pre-order that didn't go through, so they reposted this bike after they were all sold out and I grabbed it. So I got lucky, I got a second chance and got one. After they were all gone, one just randomly popped up and here we are at Rad BMX Builds, getting ready to put this thing together. This is a chrome bike with gold over the chrome. Very limited, like I said, 300 ever made, but man, it looks good. I saw one at the BMX Hall of Fame when I was there last year and I thought, man, I could just do a little bit better than that. So let's check out some of the parts. I chose to go with a Cashamax seat, probably because the gold right there I think will look really good. You gotta be careful with golds that they match, right? So I did a gold and black chain, the MX-1000 side pull brake, which is a throwback to the old school 80s with a fluted seat post to kind of stay in theme and then a die comp black rear brake cable, a die comp MX seat post clamp, and a die comp MX brake lever, which is pretty cool. And then old school, we're gonna go with the mushroom ODI grips. And don't worry, I have some gold and black checkered donuts coming for that as well. So we have a black headset, black stem, black MKS pedals, black sealed bearing bottom bracket with the square taper for these Pro BMX three-piece aluminum cranks that are gonna go on it. I get these from BMX Works in Australia if you want a set of those. I've had them on a couple other builds and they come in gold, red, silver, black, blue, bright blue, whatever you want. Now here's where I'm gonna be a little bit different. This bike came with a really cool stand, but if you notice, I'm not running Skyways. Literally everybody is putting Skyways on this bike, which is cool, don't get me wrong. Also, if you know anything about these bikes, they made an anniversary Skyway with a gold flange. But that gold is way different than this gold, and gold's tricky. You can have 50 shades of gold, and I think it just looks terrible when the golds don't match at all. So I decided to be a little bit different here. I'm not using Skyway wheels, I'm going spokes. Spokes are fast, spokes are cool. I've used Skyways on so many other builds. Let's not be like everybody else. Let's put spokes on this Skyway bike. All right, let's take a look at the wheel I got. I got this custom wheel made at BMX Guru, and it is a high flange sealed bearing hub with an ACS free wheel on it. And it's all black, black spokes, nipples, wheel. I even did the black Acorn valve stem cap from Pork Shop BMX, along with these Comp 3 style all black, even black on the sidewall, Comp 3 style knobby tires. Basically, I wanna murder out this bike. Unless it's gold, it's gonna be black. And that's kind of the theme I got going here. I think it's gonna look really good when it all comes together. Speaking of that, let's get to building. I've been waiting to pull this thing out of that styrofoam for about three weeks now. I've had this bike sitting, waiting on parts. My mailman sucks really bad, so I had to go to the post office a half hour away to get them. I thought they were lost in the mail, long story. Anyway, I picked them up this morning after the gym. Finally, the last parts to put this bike together. However, on a side note, 09 put out a gold airflow number plate yesterday, so immediately I bought that because it looks identical to the gold on this frame. Hopefully by the end of this video, it arrives and you'll be able to see it. If not, follow us on Instagram at rad underscore BMX underscore builds and you'll see photos of this bike well after that number plate is on it. So make sure you give us a follow over there. 
Okay, speaking of Instagram, people always ask me, Sean, is that bike for sale? Is that bike for sale? This is the way it works, folks. If it's for sale, it goes up on the website, radbmxbuilds.com. But here's your chance to get it before it goes on the, reb, on the website. If you go over to Instagram and you actually hit the subscribe button, not the follow, go down a little bit and look over, you'll see a subscribe button. It is a small fee monthly. You will be notified 48 to 72 hours in advance of any bikes coming up for sale, and that'll give you exclusive opportunity to get those bikes before anybody else. Sometimes these bikes sell before they ever hit the website, and that's how. So get over there and subscribe. Okay, got all the parts moved out of the way because we're getting ready to pull that bike out of the box. And you're gonna get a little sneak peek here. Uh, tomorrow, the 24 inch dyno full custom powder coat is showing up and this is gonna be the next build. So here's a little sneak peek at what's coming and that'll be in the very next video. Now we're gonna pull this out of the box, but if you wanna see that dyno build, make sure you subscribe right here, and then you will see these videos as soon as they come out, and you're gonna see all these rad builds that are coming up. So many more coming. I wanna tell you all about them, but that's the next one. Let's get on to this one right here, the 60th anniversary of bike. All right, let's just reach right in and grab this. It's just in foam, so it should pull right out pretty easily. Looks like some foam cutouts in there. Very nicely packed, by the way. They did a really good job of this. And I am gonna be saving all of these pieces just in case I wanna sell this bike at some point. I can either sell it all the way put uh, together or I can sell it um, taken apart and put back in this box. So let me pull this out and set it up and then show you what it looks like. All right, here it is out of the box laid out. Man, it is absolutely gorgeous. This is gold Electra plate over chrome and they did such an amazing job. It looks flawless. The decals are sick. I like the black and just a gorgeous, gorgeous bike. So I think it's time we start building. What do you say we start getting into all these parts, putting them on this bike and see what it looks like all together. Okay, I went ahead and put in what I think is the worst part, putting in the headset and the bottom bracket. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you those. They're pretty awesome, they look good on here. I chose black because that's the theme of the bike. Let's check it out. Right up front, you have a really nice black headset there. I did have to add a small spacer right there because the forks are a little tall. But hey, that's what happens when you build custom bikes, no big deal. I got the brat, bottom bracket in here, square taper, and then here are the bolts and lock um, nuts, washers, whatever they are. So those will go on when the cranks go on. But here's the bike right there. It's probably time to put some handlebars on and a seat, seat post and seat clamp. So let's go ahead, throw those on. And then you can see what basically the main components look like mocked up. And this is a pretty easy build. We're just putting parts on, nothing extraordinary, but hopefully the outcome is extraordinary. So let's keep pressing and see what it looks like. So when building a bike, you come across problems. And I just came across my first problem. The fluted seat post that I bought, I'm 99.9% I'm .9 sure I bought the right one, but I got the wrong one. Whether I chose the wrong one or they sent me the wrong one, that's up for debate. But this fluted seat post is too big for the hole. So <laughs> this isn't going on the bike. I'm gonna have to order another one. In the meantime, we're gonna go ahead on with the build and we're going to use a random laid back seat post that I had laying in a box, which is gonna look terrible because it's chrome. But just keep in mind, this is temporary. A new black one will be on the way. Gosh, these things always happen. This is why bike builds are never that easy. There's always things that go down. You have to work on like the spacer in, in the headset, the seat post. It's always um, things. And if you build bikes, you know what I'm talking about. So we're gonna press on with this regular chrome laid back seat post, but don't worry. Like I said, follow the Instagram. You'll see finished photos of this bike the way it's intended to be. But for this video, Unless I get a black seat post before the video ends, this thing's going in there. Let's keep going. 
And here we are again, yet another problem. If you're building these skyways, comment down below if you've had these problems too, because I just came across quite the issue and I'm gonna show it to you right now. The MX-1000 rear brake caliper does not clear this flat oval frame when it sits down inside there. So I'm gonna have to get a spacer to put in there to lift this higher in order for it to not hit the frame rail. I have never seen that. If you buy these bikes, the silver, the chrome uh, with the red or the chrome with the blue, they come with MX-1000s, but they don't make any mention about a spacer. And I already sold my chrome and red one or I'd go over there and take a look at it to see if they used a spacer because there is no other way. There has to be one there. So I'm gonna go dig through my parts, see if I can find a spacer, which I'm sure I have a ton because I have a gazillion of these brakes back there. but. Again, another issue, but no worries. We'll overcome it. That's what bike building's all about. Okay, you can see I ran some spacers right there. The downside is I don't like that. It's supposed to have this piece on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a front brake uh, bolt because it's longer than the rear brake one which should give me the length that I need to get all the appropriate hardware on there and still give me the clearance I need over that rail. So, uh, luckily I have parts uh, piled up from builds over the years, but I'm gonna have to take apart this rear brake, pull that bolt all the way out, replace it with a front brake one. So maybe if you're gonna build one of these, make sure you get that hardware, I believe, it comes with them anyway because the MX-1000s, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, are pretty universal to where it comes with both that front brake kit or hardware along with the rear brake when you buy it anyway. Anyways, I'm gonna work on swapping that out and we're gonna show you the final result. Okay, real quick, basically it took me about a minute and you can see, uh, I don't know, it's really kind of hard to see, but the one on there now is significantly longer than the one I took off. So it should be able to give me the length that I need to put these uh, pieces of hardware on there to clear this crazy uh, part of the frame. So let's put that on now. And just like that, it's on there and now it's clearing. So man, uh, they should tell you a little something about that without you just having to find it out because if you don't know or have parts like this, that could be a problem. And you would just buy this bike and be like, let me grab a rear brake online and try to put it on here. And then you don't know why it doesn't fit and you don't know what to do to fix it. So a potential problem if you don't have a bunch of excess random parts laying around like I do. So anyway, heads up on that. Let's move on to the next thing. And fingers crossed, that's the last of the problems and we get this bike put together. Okay, let's check it out so far, but Bo, before you see that, let's say hello to Lola, the shop dog. Okay, all seriousness here, this is mocked up. We're getting ready to put some grips and brakes on this bike. Everything else looking pretty good. Still gotta put the cranks and chain. Oh my gosh, that chrome seat post gonna drive me crazy. But it's looking pretty cool. I really like the gold. I didn't think that I would, but now that you see it in person, it's pretty awesome, but man, it really shows fingerprints. So if you're gonna show a bike like this, you're definitely gonna have to Windex and wipe it down and clean it because it shows everything. Everywhere I've touched, your oil transfers right onto it. It's pretty bad. So probably the worst color to show imperfections, blemishes, things like that. I also swapped out the brake pads on here instead of those Diacomp reddish ones. I want I swapped them out for some black ones. So I think now we're gonna put on some cranks, a brake lever, grips, and the brake cable. Then we'll throw on the chain. And I think it's pretty much done at that point. So let's start with the grips and the brake lever and work our way back.
Okay, quick update. I flipped the chain ring around to the inside of the spider for proper alignment between the free wheel and the chain ring. And then we added the chain and now we're all good. Drive system is perfect and there it is. Okay, behind me here it is, but I wanna give you a little warning. This is what it looks like now because I'm waiting on a seat post a number plate and some donuts, but I don't want to hold out any longer. I'm going to show you this brand new Skyway 20 inch and 60th anniversary gold. So this is it, but keep in mind, you can always go over to the Instagram if you want to see photos of this bike when those parts come in. So it'll be complete. And if you want to buy it when it goes up for sale, subscribe to that Instagram. Okay, without further ado, here it is. Okay, before we finish up here, I need to tell you, we are dropping brand new merch at radbmxbuilds.com. Hopefully it's there when you see this video. It should be there any day and you should go look for it. They are brand new shirts and we have youth sizes now available. So if you got that little guy that you're trying to show old school BMX, get him a shirt. If your wife wants to participate, we have women's hats also. Get over there at radbmxbuilds.com. Okay, that's gonna be it for now. Thanks again for watching this video. I wish this bike came out 100% complete. Unfortunately, that's just the way stuff happens. But as always, stay rad.